We're not the bad guys here. If you want to place this in the history books as one of the saddest days the world's ever known, then that's on you. Waco was truly the first 24-hour news cycle event. I mean, two years before OJ. 51 days is a lot of time to be at the center of the world's media. I think it drove both sides crazy. It's scarily relevant today how power can corrupt and make you do potentially fatal things. The story is going to be told from both ends. And I think that's the beauty of this, because we haven't had that yet. I think most people came away from Waco at the time thinking it's a tragedy because those kids' parents let that happen to them. We so thoroughly dehumanized these people in the press, and a major objective of our show was to rehumanize them. We wanted to tell both sides of the story. In the news, you saw tanks versus a building, but you didn't know the faces or the names of the people inside the building or inside the tanks. To play this guy who's the most complex guy I've ever played in my life, it's incredible. David Koresh was very charismatic and was very intuitive, and he can read people. I think what drew people to David Koresh is that he's relatable. The priest at the church on Sunday is not relatable. But this guy is a rock star who's preaching. There's just so much to Dave that people don't understand that I'm excited to show and show every color. He went in there and found, he didn't, he didn't mimic David, he found David. You come pointing guns to my wives and my kids, I will meet you at the door any time. You still think you can reason with this guy? I don't think my character necessarily bought into Koresh's uh, point of view or his beliefs, but it, it really didn't warrant the kind of siege that Waco wound up becoming. There was a group of people inside whose religious perspective was that uh, the apocalypse was coming and that the forces of evil would come against them, and the ATF raid sort of fulfilled that prophecy from their point of view. The things that they did just kind of enhanced David's power. This is where the grace of God lives. Not out there! We wanted to tell a story of understanding and compassion versus force. And I think that's really relevant right now. We live in a time where people are so quick to rush to judgment about who someone is. And I think at that time, in not digging deeper to find really what was happening here, the media fundamentally changed the outcome of this story. When people see this, they're going to be so blown away at what they didn't know and what they were so convinced they knew. That's an awesome thing to say 24 years later. The tragedy that it was, this is going to expose that in an incredible manner. And hopefully there is, you know, heated debate. There's nothing wrong with that. We aren't afraid of the government. Big Brother wants to come in here and fight. We will fight back. Hey, it's John Leguizamo. Click below to subscribe to the Paramount Network channel on YouTube for more on Waco.